Hemph. 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 Big angry sigh. Okay, I'll bite. What's the matter? I was chasing squirrels in the park because they kept calling me chicken, even though they know I don't like birds. Okay. But I couldn't catch any of them. There's like loads hundred of them and only none hundred of me. <laughs> Sounds like you need to clone yourself. Well, yeah, obviously that would be great if I knew what it was. What, cloning? It's like making doubles of living things so that there's more than one. <gasps> you and me are more than one. Are we clones? It's a novel idea, but no, we are definitely two different dogs. Clones are the same. Oh, okay. Quick question. Yeah? I'm confused. Not a question. I'm confused? Okay, so cloning is a scientific process that uses DNA to create an identical copy of a living organism. In 1997, scientists in Edinburgh made history when they were able to successfully clone a sheep. The sheep was called Dolly, and because she was a clone, it means that she wasn't made by nature. She was made by science. And she had no father because her mother was also her twin sister. But... Let's go over DNA. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is genetic code. Like, the unique information that tells every living thing what to be. See, all animals are made up of cells. They all start with a single cell, and that cell already has all the DNA it needs. The colour of our fur, our height, our shape, our number of legs is all written into that cell as DNA. And we get that DNA from our parents. Half from one parent, and half from another. Then the cell divides millions and millions of times until it's a human or a dog or a zebra or most any animal you can think of. So what does DNA have to do with Dolly the sister daughter? Well, instead of getting half of her DNA from one parent and half of her DNA from a second parent, Dolly got all her DNA from just one sheep. So she wasn't the daughter of the original sheep per se. <gasps> she was an exact copy. That's right. But how did they do it? How did who do what? How did science humans make all that science happen? Good question. In Dolly the Sheep's case, they took a single cell from her mother twin. Then the complete DNA from that single cell was transferred to the egg cell of another sheep. Because all the DNA, and therefore all the information, came from one sheep, they didn't need half the DNA from a second sheep. So then that single egg cell, with all the DNA, divided millions and millions of times until five months later, Dolly was born as an exact copy of her mother. Hmm... That doesn't seem so complicated. Well, not the way I tell it. And it's technically possible to clone things other than sheep, too. You could theoretically clone humans, or even dogs. Cool. Well, that settles that, then. Oh, good. <laughs> Wait, no, settles what? If I am to defeat the squirrel forces of darkness, I must make clones of myself. I think that's easier said than done. And there's more to cloning than the science of it. You also have to consider the ethical implications of cloning, which is a debate that still rages to this very day. Oh, okay. We think we understand. Oh, good. Ah! Yay! Me! Okay, this is too far, even for you. Thanks! We had two breakfasts.